on the afternoon I arrived, we went out to this beautiful pass that was up at some much higher elevation and had some very unique habitat. We were looking for pika like this, and it was eerily quiet out there as the fog drifted around. As we drove back from that location, we stopped at this river along the side of the road and Jamin found these American dippers and we got to photograph them. It was an absolute blast and my first time seeing them. The next morning started the drive to go photograph the bears and as we were on our way we found this red-tailed hawk on the side of the road, uh, uh, Harlan's version of this hawk that again I had never seen before. It's much darker and very beautiful. And just driving around there, the scenery everywhere was just so jaw-dropping to me. The next stop I got to see and photograph this Barrow's golden eye, another lifer bird, one that I had never seen. And then we pull off to this unbelievably gorgeous pond. I mean, the color of the water at this spot was just incredible. Along the way, a few more stops provided more red-tailed hawks and these gorgeous trumpeter swans that, again, I had never seen before. The start of this trip was turning out incredible already. We reached our destination for the bears and I got to see a river filled with these sockeye salmon. It was really incredible to see. After some time with these salmon, a few more new birds showed up, a varied thrush and a Canada jay. All right, day one in Alaska. It's raining, it's cloudy, and there's two bear right there. I'm here with Jamin Taylor. He is showing me the best time ever. This place <laughs> is insane. It's so amazing here. I just can't believe what I've gotten already. And it's just the first day. Like it is just getting started. So I can't Wild wait. Ones. I can't wait to see what else we get. It's just absolutely amazing. The scenery is incredible. And then of course the wildlife just over the top so far. So uh, gonna have a ton to share from this trip. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So for this being my first time seeing and photographing brown bears, it was so much fun to watch these two siblings that I was told were probably three or four years old, just um, wrestling together and playing around and toying with their food and playing with fish. And uh, it was just such a neat thing just to watch their silly behavior. They really do have this uh, kind of playful appearance to them, but you can certainly tell they are no joke as predators.
and my head was constantly on a swivel just keeping an eye out making sure no other bears were going to show up and trying to do my best to photograph these things creatively while keeping a good distance but watching them do like this play like this was just so much fun It was now day two and I added a few more birds such as that orange crowned warbler and golden crowned sparrow and then my first encounter with some moose in Alaska. We found this cow who you see eating right there. She had a calf with her and then there was a small bull moose that hung out with them. It was really neat to see them just kind of doing their thing and we spent a solid hour with them which was really fun but unfortunately the light was very tough and the location just didn't produce the best photos, but still need to hang out with them and spend that time with them. Later that evening, we ended up finding a pair of redneck grebes on this pond, as well as some sandhill cranes and a mew gull. But these grebes were the star of the show that evening, as was the light. The morning of day three was Pacific Loon time. Jamin took us to this spot where he had a pair of Pacific loons, and the weather conditions could not have been more magical. Total fog in the morning. Then the sun started finally peeking out through the thin clouds. It provided some amazing light for these birds. And to see such gorgeous loons far away, relaxing, preening, and then slowly but surely coming up incredibly close for full frame portraits in some of the best light possible. It was just an incredible experience. After the loons, we found ourselves up on these scenic hillsides looking for moose. But what was more fun were these ground squirrels that ended up chasing all over the place. The scenery was incredible, and then even ended up chasing some Canada jays around this area. And I tried like hell to silhouette one of them with the scenic background, and it took me quite some time to finally be able to make that capture happen. It's the Denali trip. Uh, it's about halfway through my Alaska trip, and right now I'm here with Jamin Taylor. He's driving right now. We're heading up north. Yes, this is gonna be amazing. We don't know exactly what we're gonna see. Um, we're just gonna see what we can find. What are some of the things we're hoping to find, man? Let's see, we're gonna be looking for caribou, uh, northern hawk owl, moose, doll sheep. Uh, yeah, whatever In else. Incredible scenery. That's going to be for sure. 
it's already incredible scenery here. There's also, so we're about how far out now? Uh, about 40 miles out. Okay, something like trip. that. Yeah. So we're already seeing some fall and autumn colors starting to show up. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange showing up. So we're hoping the further north we go, the higher elevations, we're gonna get even more of that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be camping up there for three days, driving around, seeing what we find. And I am pumped. I cannot wait to see what we find. Even if we find nothing, it's just gonna be a real exciting trip and uh, just some beautiful Alaskan scenery. Get to really experience Alaska. And I cannot thank this guy enough for this trip. It's been amazing so far, so can't wait to see what comes next. And magpies. Magpies. Lots of, lots of magpies. That's all I want, magpies. That's it. <laughs> Give me a magpie, I'm happy. All right, we'll let you know how it goes. Holy crap, just found my first northern hawk owl. Wait, correction, Jamin just found my first <laughs> northern hawk owl. Uh, look at this habitat behind us. Just incredible scenery. Oh, had, him, had him perched on the, well actually at first on telephone wires and telephone pole. Not good photos, but I took some anyway just because it was my first time seeing it. What did we say? Five minutes we're gonna leave? Yeah. And 30 seconds yeah. after that he takes off lands up in the top of some of these spruce trees, beautiful yep. mountains in the mm -hmm. background, scenic compositions. Had to bushwhack a bit to yeah. get to them, but uh, yeah. yeah, totally worth it. Yeah, So yeah, and the colors back here. Unfortunately, we didn't get the colors in the shot, but just a beautiful place to be. Yeah. Love Alaska. All right, just got to the campsite. Where are we at? We are at the summit, uh, about 10 miles in on the Denali Highway, Paxson side. Nice. Yeah. Dude, unbelievable trip here. Um, we already talked about the, uh, Northern Hawk Owl that we saw. And then as we're driving along, right, the sun sets, the clouds are starting to roll in. There's little breaks in the clouds. You can see little peaks of light coming through these yellow colors, peach colors. And, uh, Jamin over here keeps saying, he's like, I'll take anything. I'll silhouette anything on there. You know, maybe <laughs> oh, like great a colors. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like a great horned owl or something. And I'm just, we're driving along. I'm, I'm thinking in my head, you know, yeah, sure. Like that's going to happen. Right. And. He's driving and he points out as soon as he sees a bird flies across the road right in front of us. Pull the car over right away. I run out. Boom. There it is. Great horned owl in the perfect spot. So we yep. both run out with the cameras. It sat there for a good. Oh, 10 minutes. At yeah, least. Or so. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So. Just uh, perched in the perfect spot to give us these amazing silhouettes. So uh, yeah. we're here right now. Uh, ready to get some rest. Get ready for the morning. Um, nice and chilly out, so it's going to yeah. be a nice brisk night's sleep, but yep. uh, looking forward to, uh, waking up in the morning. There should be some really beautiful, brilliant, uh, fall colors up here. So we're really looking forward to waking up to, uh, autumn wonderland and you know, it's going to be awesome. So. Yeah, it really is really cool. Yeah. Just drove in. You can barely just see the silhouette of some of the hills and the mountains in the, in the distance. So waking up and actually seeing it all come to life is going to be pretty special. So, uh, with that, good night. Yep. See ya. All right, we just woke up, had a, we slept, you know, <laughs> out on the tundra here. We are on the, where are we at? Denali Highway. Denali Highway, okay. Yep. Interior and, Alaska. Yeah, nice. Check that out. Out on the tundra. Heavy cloud cover, rain a little bit, but real excited just to get out here, explore, see what we're going to find. We're going for time again yep. and whatever else we find. So let's go see what we can get. Let's do it.
All right, that was insane. Just got done chasing a horned lark around up here on the uh, tundra. Thing was so quick, running all over the place. Uh, we definitely got some shots though, uh, but he made us work for it. There's Jamin's checking out his shots back there. But this scenery back here, so he was hanging out in all of this um, tundra here, just beautiful colors, pops of yellows and reds and some oranges and stuff like that. So uh, being able to get him next to that. Unfortunately, the bird wasn't in breeding colors, but still nice looking, uh, a great species to see up here and just a lot of fun. We just had, we just spent like 15, 20 minutes chasing this sucker around, so. You tired? Oh man, <laughs> yeah, so much fun. Yeah, it really was. So much fun. Yeah, soaking wet in the tundra, having fun. Let's go get some more. The calm and quiet on the tundra was just astounding to me. To hear no sounds of civilization anywhere is not something that happens to me often living in southern New Jersey. And the scenery was just jaw dropping to me. It was really a cool place to be. And one of my favorite places during the entire visit. Yay, Alaska. So many bugs. They're just swarming everywhere. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Fun times. Chasing beavers. Just had some lunch, a little bit refueled now, ready to go. Um, we Right before lunch, we got to stop and photograph some ground squirrels, which is really cool. Yeah. I know they don't sound like that much, but man, I love those things. <laughs> the habitat is really, really neat for them. Um, just rocky, mossy, lichen, uh, lots of opportunity for compositional stuff. It was a lot of fun. They're just uh, peeking out here and stuff like that. So uh, not a ton of stuff today, but the scenery, man, the landscapes that I've been shooting and Jamin's been shooting and just um, lots of color, little pops of reds everywhere, oranges, yeah, a lot of yellow everywhere. You just get, as soon as you get up in some elevation, man, you just get these views that are just incredible out over the tundra with then some incredible mountains in the background. So that alone is worth this trip. Uh, but adding in some of the wildlife has been really great. So yeah, uh, rested and refueled. I got my second wind right now because I was ready to pass out right before we stopped. Um, so yeah, now we're heading to, where are we heading to, Jamin? Uh, we're heading to, uh, uh, I forgot. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's good, yeah. We're heading west. Camp, camp. Yeah. Camp. <laughs> I do know that much. Yeah, All right. just left McLaren. That's a little camp that we, uh, you know, stopped for some fuel. And yeah. So, so yeah. we're heading towards Denali, man. We got about 90 miles or so to go. Yeah, should be fun. So we're gonna see what we see along the way. Probably not too many stops at this point. We're gonna try and cover some ground. But if we see anything, of course, you know, we'll just be pulling over. And it's kind of just a nice road trip of wildlife photography and see what we find out here in the beautiful habitat and uh, having some fun. So check in with you a little bit later. After quite some time of driving, we pulled off on this scenic overlook and it was absolutely jaw-dropping. 
the distant rain. You could see the, the rain falling and the clouds and just some bright spots opening and lightening up the mountains in certain areas. And what a view. So we spent some time at this overlook just doing some time lapse and scenic captures and I did some video and I ended up getting some of my favorite landscapes from this one particular spot. It was such an incredible view. Hey, good morning everyone. So, just got up. We're on the Denali Park Highway, right? Yeah. yeah. We're in Denali Park right now. Gorgeous morning. Um, thankfully, the wind is a little calmer because where we stayed last night, it seemed like our tent was going to blow over. The wind was absolutely crazy. Um, wind and rain and just, uh, I think the, the forecast was saying it was gusting to like 60 miles an hour or something like that, which seems about right. So, uh, it was a little wild, but um, now things seem to be a little bit more calm. Clouds are starting to break up, some beautiful scenery. Uh, Jamin just saw a cow moose already, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, we're hoping to see whatever else we can find. Um, more moose would be great, possibly sheep, but not sure. And uh, yeah, anything else. It's beautiful out here. Just wrapped up a killer session with a Northern Hawk Owl. We found it along the road here in Denali Park. And it's cold and windy, but he gave us so many different looks, bunch of different backgrounds, close, far, scenic, tight, flight shots, uh, you name it. And the sun, it's been overcast like this pretty much the entire time. But then all of a sudden at one point, the sun just popped out, got them sunlit against some dark stormy clouds. Sorry about the wind in this video, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, but yeah, great, great time. Lots of fun. Let's go see what else we can find. I don't know if you can see it right now, but there's a spruce grouse walking through the forest here. You see, there he comes, or she. Jamin's right on the other side. She's about to come out into an opening here. Got some killer photos of this girl already. It's so cool. These birds are so friendly, just accustomed to people. Not accustomed, but tolerant, I should say. But yeah, here in the spruce forest, just the ground covered in moss, all this beautiful setting here. And got this beautiful female spruce grouse walking through it. So I'm gonna get back to it, see what other shots I can get. thousand feet. Uh, 3,500 is what I meant. Look at the scenery and check this out behind me here. Oh, what's that? A pair of doll sheep rams right there. <laughs> Look at this. in Alaska. They just walked off the two rams. I was just hanging out with two doll sheep rams. Beautiful full curl rams. By myself up here. Jamin went a different direction so uh, I'm hoping he's getting something. I can't see him right now so I'm gonna go try and find him because the sheep just walked off but Alaska man. Over 4,000 foot elevation up here. The view is outstanding and I was just chilling with these rams for 15-20 minutes. Um, and I had eventually worked my way up probably about 20 feet away and they just sat there just chilling <laughs> So amazing. Oh, I got some shots. Love this place Yep Alrighty, I think we were just up there somewhere I'm beat. Oh man. 
What a trip. Dolce, point blank. Amazing. Just incredible. On Amazing. the way up, I was uh, thinking, I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find them. I mean, we saw them from down the parking lot, so we knew they were up here somewhere, but it was kind yep. of like, are they gonna be where we're going, you know? Did they go over the other side of the mountain? What's gonna happen when we get up there? We have no idea, and we're putting in so much work. Grueling, um, grueling. Yeah. Huh? I mean, uh, half, part of it, maybe, maybe like a third of it actually had a trail. The rest of it is just bushwhacking, bushwhacking. through stuff. Yeah, crazy. Um, 2,000 foot elevation gain, uh, crazy rock falls and piles in some spots. And, uh, but you get up there and you come over the hill and then they're sitting right there and you forget all of it. Forget it to the point where you'll do it again <laughs> yes. next year. Forget the yeah. hike and just like, I asked oh. him on the way up. I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you that you're doing this again? <laughs> Cause I would have never done this again. And then he's like, yeah, you kind of forget it. And then when you get up there, I can see why he did it. I, I think I even said that. I looked over. I was like, that's why you do this. Oh, yeah. 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 So anyway, amazing shots. Um, Close-ups, telephoto, nice clean background, wide-angle stuff, scenery, um, yep. single ram, para ram. Uh, these, these rams aren't just full curl. These are rams that are protected in the state park here. Oh, okay. So they can't be hunted. So... Uh, one of the rams that we were on was just, I mean, it, it was starting to curl around. Again. Almost a double. It's like a good it, solid one and a half. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Biggest ram I've ever, ever seen. Oh. So, yeah. Just Incredible. Just these big, big mean <laughs> curls that just start. That's so it's cool. Amazing. What a beautiful animal. Amazing. Beautiful animal. And in beautiful terrain and habitat. Uh, you're not just walking out and shooting these things. You are working your ass off to get them, but by all means, certainly worth it. So, on the way back down now, just wanted to stop and do a re quick recap and, uh, yeah. It's hard to do. Uh, it's hard to do any vlogging when you're up there and the actions. You know, yeah. it's pretty steep up yeah. there, so you really got to watch your step and everything. So we didn't actually get uh, a ton of footage or anything, but uh, you know, just kind of focusing on getting some of the photos. So, uh, but yeah, awesome, absolute great time, awesome. Way down almost there and that's right we were up there just about done this hike though feels good to be done we did it we're back on the road how's it feel Damon oh, man. Brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. it was so brutal that my hike was are, intense my legs are jello <laughs> jello I'm walking on jello we're just like wobbling all around <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, man, that's it. No joke. It was, it was straight up up there. That's where we photographed those rams. And so, yeah, now we're back on the road. Parking lot's just ahead. That's a wrap. It was sadly my last day in Alaska, but we're headed to Whittier and another amazing morning. I didn't know it yet, but we're about to find some really amazing stuff to go to there. When I first set eyes on this scene, I could not believe how many fish were there. And again, the color and clarity of the water was like nothing I'd ever seen before. And being able to just walk down to the shoreline and watch these fish swim around and try to make their journey upstream so they could produce a offspring. Such an incredible thing to see.
Well, this is pretty much the end right here. Last outing of Alaska. We're in Whittier, um, along this little inlet here. And just beautiful had black oyster catchers, which was a lifer for me. Got some incredibly close shots and some nice scenic stuff too. And then just came over to this other spot, got my first black bear. That was really cool. And now just hanging out and there's just thousands probably. Yeah, thousands of pink salmon in the water right here. Check this out. Those are all salmon. And also in the same spot are American Dippers. So I've got some really cool shots of those. I think I'm gonna be incredibly happy with. And what else? Just got my Lifer Stellar's J here. Really good photo of that. And had some fun with some crows as well. So just incredible experience. The scenery here, outstanding. Beautiful weather right now, the light perfect. Just everything worked out for the last outing. And in a little bit, I'll be heading home. So uh, this has been one hell of a trip. It's really hard to describe how over the top it's been. It's hands down my most um, my most amazing wildlife. Oh, American Dipper behind me. Just heard him. Um, so yeah, this is by far my most amazing wildlife experience ever. Uh, I've never shot so much variety in a single week and just some incredible stuff. The scenery up here, everything in Alaska is big. It really lived up to the expectations though. And, just sitting here right now watching these salmon spawn and just slowly work their way up the river. It's really impressive. So uh, a great way to end it. And uh, I can't thank Jamin Taylor enough. He showed me an amazing trip so far above and beyond my expectations. It's not even funny. So uh, if you ever want to come up this way and work with him, please get in touch with him. He does run some workshops and it's certainly worth getting in touch with him because I'll put you on some good stuff. So anyway, hope you enjoyed coming along on the trip with me and experienced a little bit of what it's like, but being here in person is totally different. So, uh, and with that, I'll just show you a little bit more of these salmon.